Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a very important meeting that you need to schedule before you get too deep in your search for that perfect franchise. As always, remember to subscribe below if uh, you want to know about what's happening in the world of franchising today and get some free tips on buying and researching franchises. Anywho, the meeting that I want you to schedule is with your family. I'm talking about a really important, possibly intense family meeting that you need to schedule before you get too deep into finding a franchise. You need to do this because you don't want your family to be surprised. Your husband, wife, significant other, however you would like to describe your situation, there's probably someone that is going to be impacted um, in a big way by your decision to not get another job this time around and instead go into small business ownership, specifically a franchise. You need to have a meeting. Here's why. You want them to be supportive. Now, it's one thing to say, you know, honey, I'm going to, um, instead of getting a new job, you know, maybe I'll still look a little bit, but I really want my own business and I'm going to go the franchise route. Your significant other might say, oh, honey, that's fine. Go, you know, go look at whatever you want. Just kind of let me know what you're doing. Or, yeah, that's fine. Go look and, you know, I, I support you. Or, what are you talking about? Whatever the situation, you still want to have a sit-down meeting and describe why you're doing it. Why are you going into a franchise this time around as opposed to a job? What are the risks involved? What kind of franchises are you thinking about looking into? Uh, you, you might want to ask your, your significant other, spouse, partner, if they want to be involved in this franchise or if they don't. What you really are trying to do is gain support for your idea of becoming your own boss. Because sometimes what happens is, you know, you rule the roost. You're in charge of your house and you're going to do what you want in your own mind. And you look for a franchise and a month and a half later, you find a franchise that you really like. All of a sudden, you're scheduling a discovery day. You're going to go visit franchise headquarters and your spouse is like, well, where are you going? What are you doing? What? You're going to Wisconsin to go visit a, fr a franchise headquarters? For what? I mean, what would you do that for? I thought you were getting a job. You don't want any surprises. Perfect scenario, you want your significant other to go with you to franchise headquarters because they're supportive and they've been with you the whole way. Have a meeting with your significant other, your spouse, your partner. Maybe involve other family members if there's kids involved, if there's teenagers. You know, they might be full of fear. They don't know what you're doing. Hey, Dad, I thought you were getting another job. What, what's going on? You're going to start a business? Wow, that sounds kind of risky. So have this meeting before you get too far down the path of buying and running a franchise. It's really important that you do it. Get it out of the way. Get that support. Now, what do you do if you don't have support? That's for another discussion, and we'll do that soon. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Schedule a meeting with the person that is going to be most impacted by your decision to buy a franchise. Thanks for watching.